What is up guys, Devin Erko here, and today we will be looking at the scientist morph on the Grand Crossing. It's a super awesome morph, so let's just go ahead and get right into it. So, the scientist morph has two different types, because they have one for the KOS team and uh, one for the TNI ally team. So let's go into the good scientist first. I also have my alt account on my phone, so I'm going to bring that up. So we have Zomb Zombinator, we have Revert, uh, Scientist Keycard, Flamethrower, I'll put it right there, Gas Launcher, Poison Gun, and Freeze Gun. I'll start by showing you the Zombinator. So it has 10 ammo per like clip, 10 rounds, and not the slowest fire rate. It's not automatic, you have to click every time. It does a considerable amount of damage, and it also turns people into zombies, as you'll see in a second. Uh, freeze gun. See, the ammo on this one goes down very, very rapidly, and it freezes people in place. Gas launcher. It has one round, and it launches gas. The gas no longer slows you down. It just... I'll actually show you what it does. It harms you. Um, not a considerable amount, but it gets annoying. It has a pretty slow reload speed. I'm not sure if it's slower than the plasma launcher. Flamethrower, this doesn't have any ammo. It actually has something that, like, you, you don't want it to overheat. Because then it'll stop working. And then it cools down. If it overheats, however, it just, it goes down a lot slower than it usually does. Poison gun, 100 ammo, kind of like the freeze gun, but this ammo goes down a lot slower. Uh, both the flamethrower and the poison gun harms the player even after you stop shooting it. This one lights it on fire, this one poisons them. Uh, revert, 30 ammo. This transforms people from zombies back to humans. Same fire rate as the zombie nader, but 30 ammo. And scientist keycard. This allows you to access doors in the lab, which I'll show you. But, um, let's go and meet my alt. So I'm going to have my alt meet me cargo bay. So let's just wait down here, and hopefully my alt will be over in a jiff. Alright guys, so here's my alt, looking pretty nice with those shades. So first I'll show you the zombie nader on him. So it takes three hits. Then they turn into a zombie, and they can attack uh, KOS teams, and citizen zombies can attack, or infect, Nighthawks using the infect tool. They go like that near them, and then they make them a zombie. I think they have to do it like three times as well. It's not easy to infect people. Uh, you can also revert using, I believe, three hits from this. Yes, sir but it doesn't heal their health like the other ones, so I'm just gonna go, like, get some heals. Alright, so, the freeze gun. You don't need to f hit them. I think it's only, like, you only need to hit them once, but you got you gotta make rounds with this one count because look how quickly it runs out. It's out. It's done. And then when you freeze them, you can use the zombie nader on them. And then gas launcher again as you can see it doesn't do much damage it's more of an annoyance it does about three damage every time you need more heals I don't know I don't know what he's thinking he's like bring it on I'm like no I'm I'm disappointed I don't think we can heal citizen teams anymore yeah I don't like that like what if we make a mistake and like shoot the wrong guy how are we gonna heal them we don't uh, flamethrower does quite a bit per round, and then the flames afterwards do quite a bit of damage. If I'm not wrong, it does a 
about five damage every time uh, he's about to die. Oh, please don't die. Uh, I never did tell you how much the zombie nader does. The zombie nader does and revert both do roughly 25 damage per hit. So it's a pretty good gun. If you like want to use revert, it's a four hit kill on people who don't have the big game pass six, uh, six hit if they have the plus 50 health game pass like I do. And then poison, it does a lot more damage than flame as you're shooting it, but the poison afterwards only do only do about five damage per hit. Well, that's the same as flames, but it does it slower than flames do. So it's the same damage as flames, but a slower reiteration of the damage. <laughs> I don't know how to, what other way to put it. Come along. I'm going to lead my ult to the lab, and we'll show you what's down there. All right, so we're in the lab. Our ult's right here. And so the scientists, actually, they have a portal that they can get between their spawn and the lab, and it's over here, uh, beyond this door that you have to have a scientist key card to get into. And then you also need a key card to get into the biological experiments room. So my alt is, has volunteered very graciously to go up onto the podium, take a stand, and uh, get turned into a zombie. Thank you for this great service. Alright guys, so apparently it isn't working for my alt. I believe it only works for TNI team members. Or ally team members as well. So I'll turn myself into a zombie. Oh, and I'm a fat zombie. So I can eat and I can vomit. Let's see how much the vomiting does. It doesn't look like it does any damage. And then I can also eat. I believe both the vomiting and the eating only works for TNI team members. I believe. So let me have my alt go on to the TNI team. Alright, so there's my alt account. Let's see if the vomit can work. No, it doesn't seem to be damaging him at all. But I believe I can eat him. Yep, there we go. And I believe it is insta-kill. Yeah, insta-kill. Alright, and then the other one that you can get transformed into is a fire zombie, but I've never been transformed into one before, so I unfortunately can't show you that. But if you know a scientist or you end up getting a scientist game pass, uh, you can come down here and just keep trying these on yourself until you get a fire zombie. So anyways, this panel back here is empty for us right now. Um, but it's not empty for the evil scientist. So let me go and show you the evil scientist and what he can do down here. So the evil scientist does not spawn at the scientist center. It actually spawns in this uh, red cell center. Whoa. This is new. Oh, you can buy the morphs, but unfortunately I have all of them. Yeah, I have all of them. And then there's warp spawns. That's that's actually really cool. We have all the same weapons in this morph. Scientist key card. Revert. Launcher. Flamethrower. Freeze gun. Poison gun. I actually haven't been on the Nighthawk team yet since this update started. So if you want me to show like... Nighthawk stuff uh, after this update, then, you know, leave it in the comments below and subscribe so you don't miss it if I ever do make a video on that. Um, and like this video so I know you know, no, I know that you like uh, TNI videos. Because I enjoy making them. Uh, they've been my most successful video. They've actually. I. I 90. No. 80% of my success on my channel I attribute to those videos but look spawn zombies you spawn and there's two of them and they attack uh, Nighthawk allied teams they can also I believe be damaged by this oh gosh no 
they can't. Only me. Only, only I get damaged. Anyways, that'll be about it for the scientist showcase. So if you enjoyed this, once again, please like and subscribe so I know you enjoyed this. And so you don't miss the other morph showcases for this update that will be coming out tomorrow and the next day after that. And uh, join the Discord because sometimes I announce when I'll be recording. I announced it yesterday that I was recording, but unfortunately that video uh, had an error and was unable to be used, so I had to redo it today. Um, join the Roblox group, and speaking of the Roblox group, I actually have a giveaway going on, so go to the last video recorded, which was the showcase on the new update as a whole. Go to that. Watch it all the way through, and there will be info on how to participate in the giveaway. Uh, even if it's too late, even if you're watching this like a few weeks down the road, and the giveaway is already over. Go and watch that video. It's pretty nice. But yeah, I'm a go infect people with zombies.